not too hard, just follow the tanks. Okay. Our hero returns. I trust that your visit has done much to lift the spirits of our garrison on the eve of our greatest battle yet. Alpha, and don't aggro anything yourself since you might aggro the wrong stuff and overwhelm. Okay. Time is of the essence. Let us commence the briefing at once. After the first boss, we have to go through a garbage chute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Voice acting? Yes. Oh no! <laughs> Dang it! Isn't that the only place you might get lost at? That's about it? Okay. Brothers and sisters of the Alliance, I would share with you great glad tidings. Doubtless spurred on by news of the siege of Castrum Oriens, the Maelstrom has struck a double blow. Castrum Ossidens and Castrum Marinum are now under blockade. Phase two of the Operation Archon is a success. Reports tell us that the Garleans offered fierce resistance but that the admiral, admiral yielded them not one lit ill. With Ossidens, Marinum, and Orions thus suppressed, the third phase may begin in earnest. Even as we speak, the order of the Twin Ada moves to block the railway, leading hither from Castrum Sentry. And that can mean but one thing. The hour has come to strike at the heart of the Gallian invasion force. Castrum Meridianum, the den of the Black Wolf. Okay, gotta drink water. Just wanna say, I think I did that voice acting well. My fellow Eorzeans, I am Menphilia, mistress, mistress of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. There exist myriad barriers that divide us, those of race and nation, language and creed, to name but a few. Such barriers serve to isolate us from our neighbors, yet they also serve to define who we are. Shorn of them, there would be little to distinguish one from another. And the rich variety of our lives would, be, would give way to sterile orthodoxy. These barriers can never truly be broken down, of course. Not so long as there is liberty in the world. But they can be transcended. And verily, we do so now in coming together for this grand endeavor to fight side by side in defense of our shared home. And then Alphano. It's close to his English voice, so yeah, I figured. Before me stands the adventurer Suzume Tachikomaki. You all know her as the woman who will lead the unit tasked with destroying the ultimate weapon. We Scions know a different Suzume, however, we know her as a dear friend, who has endured untold hardship on our behalf, a true hero who has ever blazed a path for us to follow. And why do I tell you this? I tell you, friends, because it is time for us to blaze a path for her. Our objective is to wreak ha such havoc outside the walls of Meridiana as to afford us Suzume and her comrades the time they need to disable the Magitek field generator within. 
With the path thus cleared, we may finally turn our minds to the true goal of this operation. The destruction of the Ultima Weapon. All troops prepare for battle. I fear I cannot accompany you this time. The un... Unev... Uninviable task of facilitating communications between our forces has been entrusted to the Ironworks. You see, now know, though, that I will be praying for your safe return. See that you come back to us, my friend. May the crystal bless you and keep us, keep you. We will suffer the black wolf to p to prowl our lands no more. Let us teach the hunter what it is to be hunted. Forward, comrades, for Eorzea. Go now, Suzume, and bring us one step closer to the dawn. I like that close-up to look underneath the head. <laughs> 